snowed all night. Well, looks like about six to eight inches. Supposed to snow all day too. We're live from the garage here. Um, on my last trip, <laughs> which I had single digit temperatures, I had a media failure on my camera. And uh, that means I lost a lot of video. Very unfortunate, I can't do it again. So I'm gonna re reenactment right here in the garage. So one of the big challenges uh, when camping in cold weather is of course keeping your water liquid. It can freeze uh, very easily. Now there, there's a couple of ways you go. One way is warmth conservation, right? You try and conserve the water that the temperature, the temperature that the water has and prevent it from freezing that way. And uh, it's a losing proposition. It'll work for a weekend, but if you're out for eight days like I was in single digit temperatures, um, eventually it will, um, it will freeze. Now a good example of that, one idea I had, I had three couple of different ideas. Uh, one idea I had was to put the uh, water into a cooler and try and insulate it and, uh, and see if I could uh, get, uh, keep it liquid for a longer period of time. Now that partially worked. It worked for like two or three days and then it started freezing. You know, it's the reverse of a cooler in the summer. You put your ice in, the ice melts as, the, uh, as, as you lose uh, coldness and this is the reverse of that as it's out there longer the cold penetrates the cooler and your water will eventually freeze I think I got two or three days uh, I started as soon as I saw a bottle start to freeze I would drain it into a larger container and uh, and I and I worked through it that way so that was uh, kind of a fail if you're out it's good for a weekend but it's a fail if you're out for a couple of days so I had another idea um, since the vestibule has this uh, enormous area down here for storage. Uh, I normally put my refrigerator in there. I tried putting uh, water bottles in here and uh, that was partially successful. The theory here is that the trailer is heated and uh, more heat will come back here, you know, when it's running just through conduction, etc. It'll come back here and keep this a little bit warmer. So I brought like five thermometers with me and this in fact did work. I put uh, a thermometer in here and it got down to 27 at night which was considerably warmer than it was outside. <laughs> That's what the hatch closed and everything. Outside it was single digits. Uh, lowest it got was seven but I had uh, several nights of uh, under 15 degrees, 11, 9, 10, you know it was uh, very cold. So that worked and um, what I noticed was uh, the bottles back here at the rear, they stayed totally liquid. The one bottle up towards the front got partial ice, but it was not bad at all, and I was able to use all that water and, uh, and keep it liquid, and it, and it worked. Now, that's in the temperatures I was in. If you're in colder temperatures, you know, maybe that's not gonna work out. I would uh, close this all up at night. I'd close that up at night, close the back hatch, and I had the, uh, the pass-through uh, closed to conserve heat and uh, and that you know it still got warmer back here than it was outside it didn't work also was I had an idea Freedom Dove told me she got a uh, pocket an electric hand warmer this is basically a USB battery but it has a heating element in it and it will uh, heat up and I had this idea why not throw one of these into the cooler and get an active heat source that will help keep the water from freezing. I don't need to heat the water, I just need to keep it from freezing. Well I tried this two nights in a row and it failed both nights. It didn't, just didn't have the oomph, didn't have the BTUs to keep that water warm. And uh, you know it's a technology solution. You know you really don't want to trust your safety on a uh, on a USB hand warmer. Okay, um, you know later on in the trip I had a lot of snow and I could have melted that. The goal here was to find out how I could keep my water liquid. So what did work was a very low tech solution, and it's a uh, a hot water bottle. And, uh, you know, hot water bottles are in use for a lot of different things. Of course, when I went to buy it, it didn't say hot water bottle. Hmm. It doesn't say hot water bottle. I, uh, I was able to heat this up. Uh, put it in, get it pretty hot. Uh, not, not super hot because it'll melt the plastic. But put that in with a, uh, a container of water in the cooler. And that kept it... Um, 
liquid for a couple of days, two or three days, and I was able to repeat that process. I like it because it's renewable. You can keep renewing this if you have propane or you know fuel. You can heat up some water, put it in here, and it will keep it uh, liquid. And that's a, that was a really good solution for me. I like it as a go-forward solution. Uh, it's simple enough. And... Uh, Hey, it's a great conversation starter around camp if you still have the hoses, you know what I'm saying? So I love sharing these trips with people and uh, you can really help me by clicking like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice.